Hi and welcome, this is ZNSolo11 with another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we're going to take a look at this easy to build with easy redstone cane farm that's behind me. Let's jump into it. Okay, a few things we need to get started is dirt, this can be coarse dirt, dirt, or sand, or sod, uh, grass I mean. Uh, anything that will grow sugar cane, and some water. Sugar cane of course, you'll need pistons, uh, 16, two furnaces, two hoppers, two chests, some building blocks of choice, two sand, you have to have two sand, these are, these are required, some repeaters, comparators, some redstone dust, glowstone, and some iron bars, and these feathers are for, to put in the furnaces for power. Okay, from this point, I'm going to put down my chest. I'm going to put my hopper into my chest. Then I'm going to use my building blocks. I'm going to build this up off the ground. You can build it in the ground and have it so that the water is running here. I'm building it up here just for example. Okay, we're going to need some dirt. Okay, then we just need another row of blocks here. Do the same on the other side. All right, now what we want to do is we want to place in our pistons. We want to go all the way over to the edge of the dirt, and then we want to place one facing up like that. Later on, I'll explain a little bit more about that. Okay, now we want to have another row of blocks over top of the dirt. And I'm just going to fill that in. Okay, I want to take two blocks off here. Both the same on both sides. And I'm going to place a furnace here. And the exact same thing on the other side. Now when you place the furnaces, you'll want to put uh, 15 items in it, I think, for power. I'm going to put 16 in it just to make sure that there's enough in there. And make sure that you put 16 items in each one so that they give off a redstone signal. Uh, this is where the sand comes in. Um, if this here happens to glitch out because of uh, lag, block lag, and it sticks on, this here is supposed to push this here and reset the... I haven't seen it, but it is supposed to reset this if it does mess up. I just find this is still the easiest build. Okay, and we want to make sure our comparator is connected to the sand block. Perfect. If it lights up, you know it's working there. And exactly beside it, we want to put in our repeaters. So that it looks like this. Alright, now we want to do some redstone here. Okay, after that's done, I'm going to place this here bucket of water in here. And plant the sugar cane. I'm going to do one more thing. I found... That's, if you build it like this here, it sometimes pushes them over onto the other side. So what I've done to prevent that was I put a gate in, in between them. Oops. So we're going to put these just like that. 
And because this can be a very dense farm, I'm going to put glowstone on top of it. That's to stop items from going up as well. And it provides light to these here to help them grow. And that is everything. That's all. That's all there is to it. That's all the redstone you need. It's very simple. Furnaces are easy to come by. Comparators and repeaters are pretty easy. Redstone's not too bad. So this is a pretty easy build, and it's still very efficient. This here does stop a lot of the loss that this here farm used to have. And I used to build it too wide so that I would have a wall in the middle. So that, But I found it very inefficient for space. So this here I've made quite a bit smaller. And that just helps with... Uh, making it compact and I actually do have an example of one that's uh, built quite a bit more you can build this here stackable high and wide as well and you can actually use one redstone for the one beside it as well okay I'm just going to be just one minute I'll be right back okay here's my example here I have this one here side by side and instead of putting Two of these side by side. I use this one here for the these here two rows and the pistons can be stacked back to back. This actually makes it so that I can expand it a pretty good size and not have to worry about using quite as many resources. And the last thing is, is if you put this here high you have to put it up two spaces. And these iron bars certainly do help with the loss. It's still not 100% lossless, but these here do percent. This here makes the percent at least worthwhile to have it like this here. And I find I only lose such a small percent. I wouldn't even say three or four percent. And it's very expandable and very easy to build. In early game, this one here would probably be the easiest one of all of them to make. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.